Hello guys, my name is Luba, and if you are watching me today, that means that you are quite eager to learn Ukrainian and that you are a complete beginner. So what are we going to do together? Well, I'm going to teach you the basic Ukrainian from the alphabet, numbers, colors, days and month of the year but I'm going to go much deeper, which means that hopefully, eventually, you will be able to speak basic Ukrainian. I mean, not as a fluent Ukrainian born speaker, but at least as someone who will be able to understand instructions and be able to be understood. Let's start from the Ukrainian alphabet. Ukrainian alphabet or abetka alphabet is a form of Kyrillica, Cyrillic script. Some Cyrillic and Ukrainian letters look like the letters of the Latin alphabet, like English or Spanish, while still having significant differences in writing and pronunciation. Ukrainian alphabet consists of 33 letters. Let's have a look at each of them with examples. A. A is the first letter of Ukrainian alphabet, and it's very easy to pronounce. In English, it sounds like the A in a car. Either in a stressed or unstressed position, A sounds almost the same. The stressed A, like the first one in a female name Anna, Anna is just a little louder. B. The second letter in Ukrainian alphabet is B. It may look unfamiliar, but B has equivalence in many languages. In English, it sounds like the B in a banana, banana, B, banan, banan. The third one is V. At first, you might confuse it with B, banan, a banana. But with some practice, you will remember it's pronounced as the first sound in a vase, vaza. Next one is he. He is our special. We pronounce it in our very unique way. He in Ukrainian sounds like English he, but with more voice in it. It's a breathy voiced counterpart of the English he. 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 Let's try together. Honolulu. Honolulu. Hobbit. Hobbit. Let's try again. Repeat after me, guys. Honolulu, Hobbit, H. The next one is the letter G with upturn. G is a letter only used in Ukrainian alphabet. And for this reason, the letter G was officially eliminated from the Ukrainian alphabet in the Soviet orthographic reforms to bring the Ukrainian language closer to Russian. Hmm. As a result, G came back to independent Ukraine in way fewer words than before. G is the least common letter in the Ukrainian language. But it appears in some widespread words like grunt, soil. G is very easy to pronounce. It's the G in the word give. Next letter of the Ukrainian alphabet is D. D can represent different sounds. It can be hard, d, as in deny, a day, or soft, d, as in dякую, thank you. What's the difference between the hard and soft d, d and d? Soft consonants involve your tongue touching the top of your mouth, while hard consonants usually do not. The tongue is closer to the teeth. Try to hear the difference between deny, hard d, and дякую, soft d. Then try to pronounce. Let's do it together. Repeat after me, friends. Deny, deny, дякую, дякую. Also, if you see letters d and j in a word together, they can sound as dž sound like in jeans, jeansy. D and Z we can read also as one sound. It's two letters, but one sound. Z, Z, like saying D plus Z really fast together. Godzilla, Godzilla. Gudzik, a button on a garment. 
or zu zu the soft version of zu get zu a gadfly it sounds the same as the e in the english word pet let or first sound in lm lm when e is not stressed it's more weak so it tends to sound a little closer to u but don't worry about that too much so it's a little bit something in between ukrainians use e a lot for example we can make the long sound e to express confusion e suspicion e regret e or disagreement e Next one is ye. Ye is one of the three Ukrainian letters ya u ye that can be pronounced in two ways depending on the position. Ye is pronounced as y e ye at the beginning of words Europa, Europe and after vowels majetok an estate apostrophe sign pedestal a pedestal or a soft sign Sommelier, a sommelier. Ye is pronounced simply as a after the consonants without an apostrophe sign. However, ye causes the consonant before it to soften. Remember the soft d. There are not many words like this. For example, my bootnie, the future, my bootnie. Because of ye, n is pronounced softly as n. The letter Y alone forms the word which means there is, there are. У вас є питання? Are there any questions? But don't panic, guys. We will talk about this letter as well as about you and ya in a separate lesson. Next one, Ж. The letter Ж is looking fancy in Ukrainian, isn't it? It looks like a little bug as I see it. Жук, a bug. You can hear the zh sound that it makes in the English words a garage, usual, vision. Also, zh is a part of the complex sound dż, dż, which is pronounced as d and zh together, like together, like in jeans, dż, jeansy. We talked about it earlier. The next letter is z. Z itself is easy. Zona, a zone. But what about kukurudza, a corn? Here we pronounce d and z together as one sound. Dz, dz. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Also, z and z can be either hard, like in zona, kukurudza, or soft. Zimbabwe, Godzilla, z. Z or dz are soft. Z, dz when they are followed by such letters the soft sign ya u ye i the next one is u u can be difficult to master and so that's why there are three techniques on how to get the right pronunciation of it first one compare the u sound to the short e in words like a bit a little in ukrainian it's very similar but a little longer and deeper u a bit, a little. Second technique. Think about U as the sound between E and U. Say E and try to turn it to U and you will get U somewhere in between. Like E, U, 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 U. Let's practice together. U, E and we make it U. E, uh, uh, uh. I hope you will make it someday. And the third technique, put your fingers on your neck close to your throat and when you say uh, aloud, you should feel your fingers move like uh, 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 uh. Did something work? Find your favorite way and use it. Oh, and one last thing. In the unstressed position, U becomes a bit close to E. Feel the difference in Zema, winter. Zema, it's not Zema or Zuma, it's Zema, Zema. 
The next letter of uh, our alphabet is E and it's pronounced like the English double E, like sweet, C. It's a very useful word by itself. E means end in Ukrainian. For instance, zima i lito, winter and summer. When E is following a consonant, that one starts to sound soft. Lis, a forest. Li, li, lis. Ukrainians may say E when we are surprised, like E, disappointed E, or want to express reluctance. E. <laughs> right. And that is the end of my lesson for the moment. Hopefully, I will see you guys next time for more exciting lessons. In the part 2 of the Ukrainian alphabet video, we will continue learning the letters. До побачення! Goodbye! See you guys! And Slava Ukraini!